Hey guys, it's Chris here with Off-Road Farm, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I thought I'd show you guys some of the other stuff that I get into around here, and so today's video is going to be about us working on this old Caterpillar 225 track hoe. The uh, main boom cylinders are leaking really bad, and so we're going to rebuild them. We've already got one off and rebuilt it. We also got the, the main pump housing off of the engine, and we rebuilt that as well. Uh, but today I thought I'd show a little video about us just getting this uh, getting this main boom cylinder off, breaking it down and, and repacking it. We really love our Milwaukee half inch high torque impact wrench. We use it all the time. Most of the time it'll, it'll get just about anything loose. But in this case it just didn't quite have enough for some of these big bolts to break them loose. So we had to end up breaking out the, uh, the three quarter inch air wrench. Here we go. Now that we've got the cap of this cylinder loose, it's time to go ahead and pull the rod and piston out. The nut that holds this piston on, it should be on there tight, like really tight. It should be on there with over 2,000 pounds of uh, torque. So we thought we would lock it down in our shop press. We can hold it with anywhere from 50 to, well, up to 100 tons of force to try to hold it tight while we remove this nut. How's it look? Pretty good.
we're not going to be rebuilding the piston. We actually didn't have any problems with a lot of creep out of this, just mostly just leaking out of that end cap. One thing to notice here is look at how easy this cap moves on the piston right now. It's no trouble at all to move it back and forth and, and to pull it off. And after we get it rebuilt and put it back on the piston, look how hard then it is for us to move it around. As you can see, the top wiper, it's completely missing. And all of these seals and washers inside, they're coming out in pieces. This thing was done. Yeah, it's coming up. I have a mess. My GoPro actually froze up right around this point, and so I apologize for the video. It's got some artifacts in it. Huh. That's that one we left in last time. <laughs> we are. Uh... second groove yeah. and then this one goes in the top groove yeah sure i think uh, <coughs> a little plastic thing car in there i have to put it in space here i'd rather not i'm gonna shrink it up plastic part up i'd say i'd say it goes down let me look at it yep you're right like that Yes, sir. Because that catches it, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. What? 
up there? I said I don't know. You don't know. Good, bye. Got that one in. All right. Now this one goes in next. Yeah, sure. That one's stiff, too. And it should go in like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sir. We've done messed up. We ain't followed instructions. Special instructions. It's plastic, but it's mean. It's mean. What we do this? I believe you got it. I believe you got it. Big hammer now though. I don't even know what size that thing is. Four plus, I think. Four inch. It's big. Ready? Up a little bit. All right. Oh no. That was last. Yeah, it does that. Let's just take it out there so it don't fall out. Kill nobody. I'll try to hold it on there. Here we're using a 10 to 1 torque multiplier to put the final torque on this nut. Uh, this particular torque multiplier that we're using is actually only rated to an output of 2,000 foot-pounds, so that's what we could put on this nut. This nut actually calls for 2,660 foot-pounds of torque. Then you're supposed to mark it and rotate it another 45 degrees. Oh. We put 2,000 foot-pounds on it and called it good. Oop. Well, we didn't have 
talking about problem last time, didn't we? Well, we had it way out yonder though. Yeah, it wasn't lifting it straight up. Yeah. We can get a little more with it, okay? Yeah. It and put a come along on the bottom of the lift. So we might just what we're done, right? Yeah. Yep, hold it down. Think that's good. Like I said, sure, it's not gonna be no good for nothing. Eh? No. Alright, you got it? I don't know. Working. <laughs> Way around, down around. Her tiny's on the press, still 20 times. My glove. Yeah, it don't look like it slipped oh, off. Oh, nice. that's great. Are you moving it? Yeah, I felt it move in. <laughs> Moving you too, eh? Yeah. Look, we're getting off the block here. Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Alright. It's turning. That's 200. That's 2,000. So that'll be 2,000 pounds. Yeah. Just leave it there. Alright. Come on. Alright, you ready to turn loose? Ready. You got it. I have to pick up on it just a little more. Yeah. Hold on, we bound up up there. Yeah, right, right. Or whatever it was. Now I'll carry it off. That's what the thing the cow lot out with, wasn't it? Yeah. I couldn't find that man. It's sitting in a bar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that we're done with the piston, we're going to press out the bearing that's in the eye of this cylinder tube. I don't know. It's got about 15 ton on it. It wouldn't be that hard, should it? Uh, boy, it'd be pretty hard. We knocked the other one out. Well, it was. But with all us at all The inside of this eye was in really bad shape. We had to do quite a bit of grinding uh, to get it just close to where we could uh, press in this new bearing. That's going to be good, all right. I think so.
you probably have to calm down a little bit. Hold on. All right, that's pushing. Hold on. Let me get back here. Need to calm down. 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 All right, let's try that. Oh boy! <laughs> okay. We need to take this off and slide that forward. Yeah. What happens if you come down a little bit? Well, we need to put that you want back to put on that? Our... This is our patented hydraulic stand uh, used with care. Okay, set her down. See how much harder this is to move with all that new packing. said you wanted this out because that way that big bush in there keep it straight but installing the seals on this bearing but this one particular side was beat up real bad and it essentially dropped in there so we're clamping it down so we can run a, just a couple short tacks on it just to hold it in
anybody who's ever fooled with some of these big hydraulic hoses like this knows they can really be a pain to put on. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe.